What's up everybody? Just wanted to make a short video here in response to a comment I received on my Time Crisis video regarding how to set up an Infinity USB foot pedal for use with the Send and Light Gun or really any other game or application where a foot pedal could come in handy. So a couple different things here. I am using this IN-USB-2 pedal. Uh, you can find these all over eBay. You might be able to find them on Craigslist. They also make a IN-USB-1, a little bit different design, but you'll see this one's kind of kind of expensive, but these things here you can find all day long for even with shipping between $20 and $30. So these are the version one. Here is a, here's a version two that's, uh, that's getting up to $40, but somewhere along those lines, just scour eBay, look for these. Uh, I would assume that these Infinity USB ones work just as well. And if you're not familiar with these, and I certainly was not until someone on the send in discord turned me on to it, there's a pedal over here on this side. So this, this left side right here is a pedal. This is a pedal. And then this large section here in the middle is its own pedal as well. So there's three distinct pedals on this. So it works out perfectly for games, just like the, the regular Time Crisis games, uh, where you just have a single pedal but it can also be used for games like Time Crisis 5, where it's got the, the two pedal motion system there. So that's what I'm using. And in combination with that, the, the foot pedal itself puts out some, some weird outputs. So there's a third party application or this open source application called Biped that will take that input and allow you to map it to different keys. So this GitHub project here is the original one that, that I found and it worked, it worked pretty well, but had some, some feature limitations. So you see there's an outstanding pull request and that's mine, uh, to add some features to it. So I'm hoping that the original maintainer looks at that, reviews the changes and, and pulls them in. But if not, I have created a release and I'll drop both of these links in the description right here. So if you download this zip file and extract it, you'll have this folder here. So I've just got it in a, a utilities folder within my launchbox directory, but you can put it where, wherever you want. The two primary things that I've added to this is the ability to map the pedal buttons to mouse clicks, as well as being able to launch this application from the command line and set up the mappings as part of launching it uh, with command line parameters. So the way this works is you plug in your, your foot pedal via USB, Windows will detect it. And then if you open this, what you'll be able to do is map keys to the left, middle and right button of that pedal. And so you just click on this box It'll say hit a key and I'm just going to press the A key and you'll see that it mapped the A key, but then there's this number here. And so this is a internal windows key code for the A key on the keyboard. And what I've done is the, in the code I've added, I've made up key codes for the, the mouse buttons. So if you click, for example, the, the middle button on the pedal, I want to map that to the middle button on the mouse. So if I click that and click the middle mouse button, what you'll see is you get 2000. So for, on a mouse, it's the left button is 1000, the middle button is 2000, the right button is 3000. So if I wanted to map it to the left button, there you go. So now these are, are mapped and these are actually stored in the registry. So the next time we open this, if I go ahead and close it, and this will just send it down here to sleep in the taskbar. But if I quit that and bring it back up, you'll see that the, the button mappings were persisted. 
Okay. So the big feature though that, that was suggested in talking to different people and that I implemented was the ability to create those mappings from the command line. And so what you'll have to do is use that GUI to find the number and then map those in from the command line. So for example, the exe itself is called biped2, so biped2.exe. What I can do is I can pass in left, uh, we'll just make up a number here, 26, middle, um, 28, and then we'll just do right, 1000. So now if I run this, it'll pop up and you'll see that I guess 26 map to open brackets, the 28 map to the return key, and then 1000 map to, to the left button. So if I close this and quit, I can run this again, and I could even map all three foot pedal buttons to, let's say, right click, for example. And so now all three buttons on the pedal are going to send a right mouse click. And they work just like a mouse button. Actually, if you step on a pedal and hold it down, it's going to send the down event. And then when you release it, it'll send the, the up event. So it'll work just like the pressing a button on a keyboard or pressing the, the mouse clicks. Okay. So where that comes into play is like a game like Time Crisis, where I've got an auto hotkey script here that launches that game. And we'll get into the duck station configuration and how I've got that set up in another video. But what you can see here is the first step I do for this game is I launch biped with these command line parameters. So in this case, time crisis one on duck station, the right mouse button is going to be the uh, engage or hide function in the game. So I've just mapped the right mouse click to all three pedals. I normally just use the, the large center pedal, but if as you're playing, you happen to step on one of the side pedals, it doesn't matter. It's going to send the same thing for any of them. And then in my closeout process, I just kill the, the application completely. So that's how you can set up an infinity USB pedal with any type of, of game or just use that biped application to map the foot pedal events to key press or mouse click events and launch it via the command line to try to come up with a, a clean and easy integrated launch system for, for games or frankly any other application. I believe this probably only works with that infinity pedal, the way that it registers and the, the events that it sends that then trigger the software to map to that event. But if you got something else, give it a try. If you got one of those infinity pedals, they're cheap. And with this solution here, you can set it up to do pretty much anything you want. Thanks for watching.